everybody, this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my name's Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is sharing about my July sewing plans. If you are new to my channel um, and you haven't seen any of my uh, sewing plans videos before, what I do is I share with you um, how many plans I plan to make <laughs> during um, the month and then you can vote for which one you would like to see as a sew along. So um, before I get uh, started showing the plans, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. This is the Tilly and the Buttons um, Indigo top and it is in a viscose fabric with lots of cats. <laughs> it's always a bonus if fabric has cats on it. Um, I've got their sort of flouncy sort of sleeve version which I love. Um, it's really nice um, top, this uh, nice gathered um, sort of empire waist. And oh, I don't know if I can show you. It's just kind of like the top, so it's kind of um, not too long. And I'm actually wearing it with jeans. I actually think it's quite a nice little top to wear with jeans. Um, but yes, anyway, plans. Let's start off with um, this one. So, I am wanting to make um, some dresses that is kind of suitable for work. I mean, I don't wear like, you know, smart clothing in my office. It's kind of smart casual where I work. The only time I really need to dress probably smart is if I uh, have to meet clients, um, have meetings, you know, go out, you know, somewhere and meet people. Um, but just in the office day to day, um, it's pretty casual. I mean, we can wear like jeans and blouses. Um, and things like that. But now we're getting into the, you know, nice warm summer months. I'd really like to make um, a dress that I can wear into the office. And I always find that if I do wear a dress into the office, I don't like it to be above the knee. I just find it's just, I just don't feel comfortable with that. I like it when they're a bit longer. So I was having a little look through my um, pattern stash and I saw this one that came free in a sewing magazine. It is the Butterick B6722, which is this one here. And, you know, when I first saw it, I kind of thought, mm, oh, you know, I'm not 100% sure. But the more I look at it, the more I'm actually really liking it. The one I'm thinking of making is this version here. So you've got um, two sort of um, versions here where they're kind of a basic sort of um, t-shirt style top. I mean, it's, it's for wovens, but you kind of know what I mean, like a basic sort of uh, top. And then this one has like um, a longer skirt with one ruffle at the bottom. This one has the multiple ruffles. I'm not a massive ruffle person. I like a small ruffle, you know, like kind of with like these sleeves and things. I like a little sort of floatiness there. And I do like this bottom ruffle. This one I think is nice, but I just think this would be really nice in maybe something like, um, like a gingham or even like, you know, the models wearing like with the stripe for like a, quite a casual sort of look. But I think this one would be really nice to wear in the office. If I turn around so you can see the line drawings at the back again, you can see there. So this is the version I'm wanting to make with just the single ruffle on the bottom. And um, yeah, this one with the with the other ruffles, I think just not quite me. But I think this one will be absolutely lovely. It's got a little elasticated waist, an optional tie. I probably won't make the tie. I kind of just prefer to maybe wear something belted. So I'm going to see how that sort of looks. I mean, I might not even add the elastic in because sometimes, you know, I just prefer it if I just cinch it in with a belt. But I will see how it goes. But I just thought it'd be really nice. And also, if you can see from the front picture, it's got buttons down the skirt, which I thought is really nice. There's no buttons down the top. It's just the skirt. So I just think that's a really nice little detail. And the fabric that I'm wanting to use is um, a So Hayley Jane fabric um, that I got in one of my boxes and I've never used. And it's a really nice fabric. It is this viscose, um, which has sort of lots of, it's almost a bit animal print, but not quite. And I just thought this would be lovely to wear as a work dress because it's not 
overly floral um, or you know got cats all over it things like that um, I mean there's nothing wrong with wearing um, cat fabric to work I mean I've, I've worn this before to work um, but yeah I just think it's just really appropriate for work having this sort of like ditzy sort of slight animal print look to it and I just, it's, it's a beautiful fabric and I'm really surprised I haven't used it yet and because I've got two and a half meters then that should cover what I need for the dress I think roughly for my size I would probably need it says on here actually 2.8 meters so I would be a little bit short but worst case scenario I can shorten it a little bit if needs be because it comes down um, here like a midi but you know worst case I can shorten this skirt a little bit or shorten the ruffle a little bit and make it more sort of just below sort of knee length if needed um, because as I say as long as it's sort of covering my knees when I'm sort of walking about then um, yeah that would be absolutely fine and I just thought with the viscose it would be really nice for summer you know keep nice and cool and um, yeah I just thought yeah I would need to use this fabric because it's far too pretty to um, keep in the stash so I've got two and a half meters of that um, it's not a particularly wide fabric as you can sort of see there so I'm hoping it should be enough to make that dress but um, if not I'm sure that I can adapt um, to whatever I need to to create that and then the next pattern um, so again when I was talking in my me made may sort of roundup video I was saying I need to make more trousers uh, because I was wearing ready to wear sort of trousers probably most days during May and I just kind of thought do you know what I should really try and focus on making a few more trousers and the one that I've been seeing everywhere making the rounds is the um, uh, Pietra um, pants by um, Closet Core patterns and um, I, I never know how to pronounce it Pietra, Petra, I don't know I'm gonna call them the Pietra um, pants and um, I just thought yes I need to make some of those um, I don't have the pattern envelope, I think I've only got the PDF version, but um, yes, I'm going to make the, uh, the longer length sort of tapered um, trouser. And it's not very exciting fabric, I am being practical, it is black. <laughs> because I wear black trousers to work all the time. Um, so I always wear um, either sort of like very dark, sort of, I mean, proper like black jeans all black trousers um, because it just goes with so many of my blouses it's just you know blacks and blues are just perfect for trousers because you can just match everything with them but this fabric is a viscose um, linen <laughs> couldn't get my words out then viscose linen but it also has a little bit of stretch to it so this is the um, the fabric. I'm just trying to work out which way it stretches because it only does stretch in one direction. Um, if you can see there, can you see there? It's got a little bit of stretch in it. I don't think it stretches the other way. No, it's just um, across the length of the fabric that it stretches. Just that little bit of give. So I just thought that would be really nice for the, um, the Pietra pants because I think they are quite high-waisted. So I think with high-waisted um, trousers, I just think having a slight bit of stretch is always a good idea because you know what it's like. You have some pasta for lunch or, you know, some bread. <laughs> and then I don't know about you guys, but I bloat a lot when I have things like that. So it's nice to have that just that little bit of give um, for when you need it. So, yes, um, I can't remember where I got this fabric from. It was actually quite recent. I can't remember for the life of me where I got it from. <laughs> I will pop it in the description box down below where I got it from. Um, but yes, I got um, a metre and a half um, of this. So um, I can't remember how much the um, Pietra um, pants require, but um, I think a metre and a half should be okay for that. 
and because it's viscose linen it's going to be again lovely for summer really nice and cool um, I'll just have to make sure I keep the black fabric away from my cat Bentley because he's a white and ginger cat so his fluff does go everywhere but I just thought those would be really nice especially as I say for summer nice and cool um, and yeah hopefully perfect for that pattern next up <laughs> so um a lot of you guys probably know uh the lovely rachel from stitched up she's got her own youtube channel and she's on instagram i will link her youtube channel down below because if you haven't watched her videos i really do recommend watching her she's got great content um, and she's been doing um the last few months every now and again she does a live sew along and I followed along with um, a couple of them. I've made, I think, the uh, the Frida blouse by Atelier Jupe, um, and then other ones that she's done. I think I've sort of watched, but not necessarily made the pattern. But I just like, you know, having a nice little evening where you know she's just chatting to everybody live, doing a live sew along, and it's just nice to have a little bit of company in the sewing room. So you don't always need to join in, but um, this month for July. Um, she, I think it was quite a while back, I think she was going to make it and then just to, due to some personal circumstances, the sew along got cancelled and um, delayed until July. And I thought, oh, do you know what? Originally, I wasn't going to make this pattern. But then when I saw her saying that she's going to do the sew along in July, um, I just kind of thought, do you know what? I'm going to make that pattern. And that pattern is the Friday pattern pattern company saltwater slip dress i'll insert a stock image of it here it's a lovely little uh, slip dress now you may have seen again i keep referring back to my uh, me made may uh, roundup i love my ogden cami hack which is basically the ogden cami hacked into um basically a bit like a slip dress with some slits up the sides and the saltwater slip is very similar in the uh, thing of it's got uh, side splits but the um, neckline is very different to the Ogden Cami. So the Ogden Cami has um, reasonably thick straps, I mean not really thick straps but you know sort of not like spaghetti sore straps and it's more sort of v-neck whereas the salt water is kind of quite thick thin straps which are adjustable so I think you can use like those little bra sort of adjusters for it and it's got a nice sort of um, scoop neck to it so I just thought this one is just maybe a little bit different to my Ogden cami hack I mean they are quite similar but I just kind of thought how nice would it be just to you maybe compare the two is there one that I prefer um, and yeah I kind of thought I'd like to make it so for the pattern you do need something quite um, soft and drapey so I've got a viscose which is this one. I thought having um, a black background for a slip dress would just be perfect for me because then it would mean that it's really wearable if I want to um, maybe put like a little t-shirt underneath it, you know, to maybe wear the, the, um, the slip dress over the top. And this fabric I got from uh, John Lewis oh, ages ago. They had a sale, I think, online and I managed to pick this up quite cheap and it's a John Caldor um, fabric and it is this lovely viscose I'll open it up a little bit more so you can see it um, it's a lovely soft viscose really really lovely quality and this pattern is just beautiful these sort of like leaves and sort of splodges <laughs> I guess it's just beautiful it's a lovely lovely design and I thought, as a slip dress, this would be absolutely perfect. Um, I just kind of thought, again, as I said, having like a little t-shirt underneath, I could get like a little sort of lilac t-shirt um, or like a sort of white or grey t-shirt or even like picking up those blues. And I just thought that would be lovely. 
I can't remember quite how much fabric the salt water requires. I'm going to be making the long version because you can do like a short version or a long version and I want to do the long version. Um, I think it might be something like 1.8 metres. I can't remember what it said. Um, and I've got two metres um, of this. So it should be plenty, hopefully. So uh, yes, that is my plan for that. <laughs> Oh, I folded that up inside out. Never mind. Let's sort that out afterwards. <laughs> okay, and then on to my final plan for July. So, um, again, I have been inspired by a So Haley Jane fabric, and this was the most recent So Haley Jane box that I received, which had this fabric in. And as soon as I saw it, I instantly had a pattern in mind. If you'd seen my So Holy Jane recent unboxing video, then you'll know what pattern I'm probably referring to. Uh, so it's this fabric, this lovely pale blue with these yellow flowers, red and these sort of, I think I referred to it as like a biscuit color um, flowers on. It's so pretty, so summery. I just think it's really girly and feminine. I love it. And I was thinking of making the uh, Shelby romper by um, True Bias, this pattern here. So this one. Now, I have two and a half metres of the fabric. For that, I could make the short dress or the short romper. So if I turn the pattern round, um, you can't really tell too much of the difference there. But um, yeah, you get the full length dress or the full length romper, or you can see these lines where it cuts it off for the short romper or the short dress. So I don't have enough fabric to make the full length. I think if I had enough fabric, I might have made the full length dress. But I was thinking, do you know what? I'll make the short version of the romper. The reason I'm making the romper and not the dress is because there is no way that I would personally feel comfortable wearing a dress this flowy and this short. I think, you know what, if, if you like that, absolutely go ahead. But me personally, I think because maybe I'm a little bit taller, I just find that anything that sits too high above my knee, I just personally don't feel comfortable with um, because, I mean, it probably wouldn't be too bad if it was maybe like fitted, but when it's really loose and flowy, I just have these images of just a gust of wind, especially in the UK, um, where it would just flow and then, yeah, well, I'd be flashing everybody. I mean, if I do wear sort of short dresses, I do tend to wear sort of short shorts um, underneath. But do you know what I was kind of thinking? Do you know what? I can get over that by making the uh, romper, the short romper version, because then it would just be a case of when I'm walking around, it will look like I'm wearing, um, you know, a little mini dress. But if the wind blows or things like that, then, you know, my modesty is maintained. <laughs> so that's just my personal view on that. Um, so, yes, I'm going to make the romper of the short version. And I just thought this fabric would be so, so cute in that romper. It's just, as I say, it's just, I love this fabric. It's got a slight, I think like vintage sort of nod to it. I just think it's really, really pretty. And I just thought I need to make that pattern sooner rather than later, because otherwise I'm not gonna have a chance to wear it because we're gonna, then all the warm weather will go. So I think I'm gonna try and make this one reasonably early on I think in um, July, just so I can get as much wear of it as possible. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, use that fabric. I think it's gonna be a lovely match for that. So those were my four plans. So I'll just give you a quick recap so that you know if you want to vote for one in particular. So first off was the B6722, that butterick dress in the So Haley Jane uh, viscose. Then there was the um, Pietra pants by Closet Core in the black viscose linen stretch. And lastly, the Shelby romper by True Bias in the So Haley Jane um, viscose. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you made any of those patterns? I, I'd love to know. I always love hearing from you guys. And if you want to vote for which one you would like to see as a sew along, 
if you already subscribe to my channel, it should just pop up on your usual feed. If you're not subscribed, then please do. <laughs> um, but if you're not and you do want to cast your vote, then if you go to my homepage on my YouTube channel, go to the community tab and the poll should be there for you so you can cast your vote. I say it every time in my plans videos. If you are viewing this on a tablet, sometimes you can't see the community page. Don't know why, YouTube is just weird like that, um, but you will probably need to go on a PC or your phone, um, most likely if you do want to vote. So yes, please get voting. I'd love to know which one you would like to see as I sew along. And yes, I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.